guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to do a little how-to video. We're going to do how to wear a bold lip and I'm going to do a mini makeup tutorial and on the way just give you tips and tricks I think are essential to pulling off a bold lip. That being said, I think you can wear whatever color you want, whatever time of year you want, just do what you want is basically what I'm saying. But these are just tips and tricks I think that can help you if you're new to wearing bolder lip colors which are pretty in this season, pretty in for summer. Let's just get right into it. So first things first, as you can see, I already have foundation concealer and I did my brows just cause that's the same old, same old you've seen a million bajillion times before. But we are gonna move on to the next step. I'm gonna try to use some things in here that I haven't used in a while also because I feel like I've been using a lot of the same products in a lot of my videos. So I'm whipping out some oldies here. So this one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour. I'm going to use the contour side. It's actually a really good color. It's very cool toned. I suggest not doing a super bronze, super contoured. You want to add a little bit of definition just because your face is going to be bam right here in the middle. You don't want it to be too stark. So you do want to do a light contour, but you don't want to do too much going on on your face, otherwise it can detract. Okay, I feel like that is sufficiently contoury bronzed. Yeah, I feel like that's that's good. I'm going to do blush, and since I'm going to do a pinky bold lip, I wanted to do like a pinky blush. You want your blush to kind of just lightly complement the color that you're gonna do on your lips. This is the Bare Minerals um, ID Face Color Blush in the color Glee. And it's like a mauve pink color. It's probably not completely complimentary, but I figured I would just try it anyway. And there's just already a little bit in here in the pan. I'm just gonna lightly dip into that because I know this stuff is very pigmented from the last time that I used. For eyes, I just suggest if you're going new into this, you can do a cat eye if you want, but I think if you're gonna really focus on a cool, bold lip color, if it's, you know, whatever color it may be, you probably just wanna define your eyes and not do a ton of color. So I'm just gonna do this Color Pop um, Super Shock shot, Super, <laughs> Super Shock Shadow in the color Flutes, and it's just like a warm, medium toned brown. Kinda looks like a poo color, actually. I don't really love the matte formula of the ColourPop shadows, but I do find that all of them work better when you apply with your fingers first. And then I'm just taking a fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip a little bit into that, but not too much. And just kind of blow this out so it looks a little bit more diffused and nice. Lightly putting that on the lower outer half of my lash line, my lash line. My lower lash line. Actually, I'm going to go back into this palette, this L'Oreal Duo. I'm going to use my little stippling brush. I just love using this because I think it's just so easy to use and it blends everything so nicely. And this is a very, very subtle highlight. Like, I feel like you can almost not even detect it, which is what I like about it. I'm just applying this to the high points of my face, as you can see, obviously. I like connecting this right here in a little C shape, just to kind of bring it together, cool. And then I'm gonna take the highlighting shade with my pinky finger and just add that to the inner corner. Eyelashes, I'm just gonna do regular mascara, not do false eyelashes, like I never do false eyelashes on my channel anyway because I just don't wear them. I'm using the Essence Get Big Lashes. I think this is a really natural looking mascara. I really like it, it's like $2. Wand is really large. Like, look at that. That is a large, large wand happening right there. I'm taking my time here. You can take your time too if you want. So mascara is done. It's kind of just like a fresh, natural thing happening right now. So we're gonna move on to lips, and I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. I feel like I use a lot of Wet n Wild lip products, but that's just because I really like them and they're affordable, so I use them. But I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in the shade Oh My Dolly, and as you can tell, this is a bold lip. Go bold or go home. Like Johnny Tsunami once said. Yes, because liquid lipstick can get messy real, real fast. We all, we all know that. So I like to go in with a pencil first just to ensure that I have the shape that I want and it's not too messy. So I'm gonna go in with the shade. This is the closest shade I had. It's not really exact, but it's gonna do the job. 
This is the NYX lip liner and this is in the color Sable Sand Pink or Sable Rose. It has two names. Both of those sound like they're gonna be completely different colors, but. I also suggest filling in your whole lip because I think it's easier to see if one of your sides of your lip is like way overlined compared to the other lip, you can kind of just tell if you fill in the whole lip what your kind of lips will look like at the end. You could leave it like this if you wanted. I'm gonna take it a step further and add the liquid lipstick because that's what YouTube is for, to be a little bit extra. So I'm taking it out, I'm taking a lot of, there's a lot of excess on this little guy right here. So I am wiping a lot of the excess off. The wand. I feel like that was a pretty good application. I'm just gonna do one coat because I feel like if you layer too much on, it gets really like clumpy and gross. So I like to just do one layer of liquid lipstick and then, you know, this is good for me on a daily, on a daily basis, but if you're gonna go out and you're gonna take pictures or do whatever, I do suggest perfecting this and doing one extra step and I'm gonna show you what I do. So I take my concealer and I take a little detail brush. I just take a dollop of my concealer like literally just, I can't even say a little thing of concealer. And I really just want to perfect the corners right here because those are what looks a little sloppy to me. So I'm taking a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna perfect those corners really quick. But yeah, so I basically just took the concealer and I'm just taking it right here in the corner. Just making sure it's a sharper line and so it doesn't look as messy and it looks more even and then you just lightly blend that out with your brush. I kid you not, that concealer trick is just the best. I feel like not only does it clean up the sides, but it just like makes your lips look even better, like, than before. All right, everybody, that concludes the video for today. If you're interested in rocking the bold lip this summer, let me know if that's a color, if this is the color you would wear, or what color you'd like to wear this summer or what other colors I should try out, let me know in the comments below. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also don't forget, if you have any questions about what I'm wearing on my face today, I will link everything down in the description box below. So I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.